R12DS is a receiver with 12 channels. Now I'm going to show you how to do the body and how to change signal output. Let's take AT9S as an example. Power on the transmitter first. Check if the green LED is always on. If yes, then we can process the body directly. If the green one is off, enter parameter menu and turn on the RF mode. Then the LED will be always on and the transmitter is ready to bind. Then power on the receiver. We can see that the LED indicator is always on. Long press the binding button until the LED indicator flashes quickly, meaning binding process is ongoing. I release the button. So now let's press the binding button. When the LED stops flashing and is always on, we can see that a signal tower shown on top of the LCD screen of the transmitter. Binding is complete. There are totally two signal outputs for R12DS, SBUS or PWM. We can see that the current LED color is blue and purple. Purple, meaning its current signal output is SBUS. If we want to change the signal output as PWM, we need to short press the binding button twice within one second. We can see that the LED turns red, meaning the current signal output is PWM. The R12 DS receiver is con the receiver R12 DS is compatible with radio link transmitter 89S, 89S Pro, and 8010. When using this receiver, if the firmware of your transmitter is the latest, we also need to enter the system menu to check the channel quantity at channel select and change it as 12 channels because this receiver is a 12 channel receiver. This step is very important and can be skipped. 